in grade fives. Yesterday you learned about mixed numbers or mixed fractions. Today we are going to learn how to add and subtract mixed numbers or mixed fractions, okay? You can also do calculations with mixed numbers. Add or subtract the whole number first. So let's look at these examples here, okay? It says calculate 1 and 1 third plus 5 and 1 third. So the first step is to calculate the whole numbers. In the first one, the whole number is 1. And in the second one, the whole number is 5. So you're first going to say 1 plus 5. And it's good to put it in brackets so that you don't get confused, okay? And it is separate from the fraction, so we need to put it in brackets. Same thing goes for the fraction. Then we say plus, open brackets, one third plus one third. Now you already did fraction calculation, so you should already know what the answer for this is. So one plus five equals six, and one third plus one third equals two thirds. And therefore our answer is six and two thirds. Okay, let's look at the next example. It says calculate nine and four fifths minus three and two fifths. So let's begin with our whole numbers. 9 minus 3 equals 6. And 4 fifths minus 2 fifths will give us 2 fifths. So the answer is 6 and 2 fifths. Let's move on to the next example. It says calculate 3, sorry, 6 and 3 quarters plus 4 and 2 quarters. Alright, first step is to calculate the whole number. 6 plus 4, which is going to give us 10. Plus the fraction 3 over 4 plus 2 over 4, which is going to give us 5 over 4. Now, take note that this is an improper fraction. So, we need to convert it into a mixed fraction. So... Remember how I told you guys, you are going to say, how many times can 4 go into 5? 4 can go into 5 once, so that's going to be our whole number. And we are left with, our remainder is 1, so we are just going to put that 1 over 4. We are going to take the whole number and add it to the other whole number. So here we have 10, here is our whole number which makes 1, and our remainder which is 1 quarter. So therefore, our answer is going to be 11 and 1 over 4. Moving on to the next example. Calculate 12 and 1 6 minus 8 and 5 6. You cannot subtract 5 over 6 from 1 over 6. So you should break down the number 12 to help you subtract them. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Now, if it were a normal sum, you will say... 12 minus 8 and 1 over 6 minus 5 over 6. But 1 over 6 cannot minus 5 over 6. So let us let me show you what to do. Now, 1 is smaller than 5. Therefore, we need to borrow from the whole number on this side here. So, we are going to make it 11 and we are going to give 1 whole to the 1 over 6. Okay? 1 whole can also be written as 6 over 6. Like here. So, we are going to say 6 over 6 plus the 1 over 6, and we are going to get 7 over 6. Now, tell me, can the 7 over 6 multiply, uh, sorry, sub, um, can we subtract 5 over 6 from 7 over 6? Yes, because the 7 is uh, bigger than 5. So, our whole number is actually going to be 11 and 7 over 6 minus 8 and 5 over 6. Okay, now we can do our calculation as normal. 11 minus 8 will give us 3, and 7 over 6 minus 5 over 6 will give us 2 over 6. Therefore, our answer is 3 and 2 over 6. Okay, but you can also write this 2 over 6 in its simplest form. You will say, how many times can 2 go into 2? It is once. And how many times can 2 go into 6? It is 3 times. This is when we write fractions in its most simplest form. Whatever you do to the numerator must be done to the denominator as well. 
okay if you need extra help with this let me know and i'll help you okay assalamu alaikum